Hello again, fellow Gears. <laughs> What's up? It's Maticon bringing you another Gears 5 video. This one is on tips and tricks while playing Jack and Horde. So I need to thank Dr. Schwazi on this one. But before we get into the nitty gritty of this tutorial, I just want to briefly mention to all Gears engineers out there, if you have a Jack with the optimizer skill card on your run, please take care of them by getting them a forge early on and getting it to level four as soon as you're able to, because obviously the faster you max out the forge, the more money you get when smelting, which in turn gets your base set up faster, then you can perk a lot sooner, which will then make your run go a lot faster. But with all of that said, let's do this. All right, we'll start off with ammo crates. One thing to do to help your team with ammo early on as Jack is as soon as you load into your run, immediately turn on the jets and go grab and move ammo crates because before the fabricator officially gets dropped, ammo crates will respawn at about every 46 seconds, which is about half the time that they normally take to respawn once the fabricator has been dropped. And when you do finally drop the fab, it will also in turn automatically respawn both ammo crates again, even if you just barely moved or pick them up. So this is a very easy way to stack up four to six plus ammo crates before your run even begins, which is, you know, always nice. Since we're on the topic of ammo, let's go over pill for ammo. Some classes have passive skills that drop these little tiny pill for ammo crate boxes. But whenever you do see these on the ground, be sure to pick them up because if these pilfer boxes build up to a significant amount, they can sometimes cause fewer weapons to drop from regular enemies on the field each wave. And when you're smelting, of course, you never want to have fewer weapons on the field to forge, right? All right, we're going to move to the portable resupply skill card. Now, if you notice when you pick up a gun, it takes you out of cloak during each wave. As you see here, I'm getting shot at. I pick up the weapon on the field, bring it to the forge. It, it doesn't keep me cloaked. However, if you put on and equip the portable resupply skill card, every time you pick up a weapon, it briefly bounces you out of cloak for about half a second, and then you're put straight back into cloak. So it's a huge advantage that you can smelt during active waves while still staying cloaked. Now, when using Jack's healing touch with the healing reach skill card, it increases the distance to which you can actually heal or revive down teammates, which makes it very easy to revive teammates through walls like you just saw here on Forge or through ceilings like here on Asylum. And this works, you know, et cetera, et cetera, on all the maps throughout Gears. And another quick and easy time saver with healing touch is when you need to deposit your power as Jack, instead of going all the way to the fabricator, go into your attack comp, find your engineer, and briefly use your healing touch on your engineer and hit B several times to transfer all of your power to you over to him. Another great way to be a little bit more efficient with Jack is when you're smelting, you hit X to smelt the weapon on the forge. And then if you hold your X button down, Jack will automatically grab the weapon that's on the ground. You don't actually have to press X to grab it, which makes it a little easier and more efficient for sure. Just flying over it um, without having to hit X every time. And also keep in mind when you are forging, if you have a teammate that comes over and starts like meleeing you after you pick up a weapon, it's most likely because they want that weapon that you're carrying. So don't forge it, um, drop it and let them grab it. Um, just a nice little way to be better as a teammate. Now, while we're on the topic of weapons, I wanted to give you the list of the top six weapons to forge for the most amount of power that you want to keep an eye out for. And those six weapons are the boom shot, the drop shot, the salvo, the torque bow, the Nasher, and Marksa. Other than these six weapons listed, all the other weapons give you the same amount of power when forged. Now, while running Forge or any other map as Jack, keep an extra eye out for power weapons getting accidentally dropped into the environment that regular classes cannot pick up or retrieve. Like shown here, I just saved this dude's try shot. You're welcome. I also want to mention, when you do glitch the Forge out by the spawn during the active waves, please glitch it out, not smack in front of where your DPS classes are going to be aiming and shooting. Cheers and thank you, thank you for that one. All right, on to hijack and explosive hijack. Here we are up on master on reclaimed early into the game and we are getting overrun with enemies. So I use Jack's hijack ability to take out this scion and have him kill his friend here. And then this is where explosive hijack is so great. Run over to this last guy and uh, blow him up as well. 
And yes, Explosive Hijack can definitely save your run from White Bean. It is such a great card. Highly recommend it. Now, another cool feature that Jack can do is he can put grenades on weapons lockers by simply picking them up and putting them over a stored gun that's already on the locker. And boom, you're good. Yay. But as of now, Jack is the only class that can put nades on lockers. For more details on using grenades with weapons lockers, we have a separate tutorial of that on this channel as well. Also really nice and convenient, Jack can collect power from the power taps and stay cloaked at the same time. Ah, oh, so nice on that one. Thanks, TC. There's one thing I can't emphasize enough on, and that is teammates bringing guns to the forge for Jack. It is so valuable and so useful. So whenever you can, please help Jack out by bringing guns to the forge. And then I have one last tip for you here um, before we close this tutorial, and that is while playing Jack and Gears of War, never, ever, ever forget to have fun, right? That's what it's about. Well, that concludes this Jack Tips and Tricks tutorial, and as always, enjoyed, everybody. Thank you.